Hello everyone and welcome to Keep Listening and Everyone Explodes by Grand Theft Marat, which you can get on itch.io. And uh, it's interesting because it's a spin-off for a 72-hour 72, 72 game jam thing where I guess the concept is based off keep talking and no one explodes. I think that's what the other game's called. I have it. I just don't have anyone that can read a technical manual. <laughs> so, let's get into this. Hello? Hello? Hey, can you still hear me? Is anybody there? Hello? If you can hear me, that's great. I can't hear you anymore, but I'm gonna keep talking to you because the bomb hasn't gone off and we can still defeat it. There's a okay, bomb. So don't touch anything yet. I know we can count on you. You're the most qualified person we have, and I'm putting my face in you. Okay, so where we left off, in front of you there are eight wires. And we have to cut the one going to the clock watchdog, the clock, and then the blasting cap trigger, in that order. Okay. If you can't tell me what color wires you see, I'll have to give you a bunch of conditions to look for, which will determine which ones you need to cut. Okay, so if this was one of their new bombs, you'll see all black wires. In that case, you need to either cut the first three or the last three in order of top <laughs> to bottom in both cases. Unfortunately, if you guess wrong, that's like bad stuff. So I hope you don't have any black wires. If you've colored wires, uh, that's a little bit better. Okay, if there's only one blue wire, cut the second blue wire. Wait, then. That doesn't make sense. Hold on. Okay, I think this is a turn -off. If there's only one blue wire, cut that blue wire. If there's only one red wire, cut the red wire. If there's more than one red wire, cut the first yellow wire. If there's two yellow wires left that aren't cut, cut the first green wire. Oh! <laughs> and we've died. So you gotta kind of listen for it. And, uh, okay. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hey, Hello? can you still hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? If you can hear me, that's great. I can't hear you anymore, but I'm gonna keep talking to you because the bomb hasn't gone off and we can still defuse it. Okay, so don't touch anything yet. I know we can count on you. You're the most qualified person we have, and I'm putting my faith in you. Okay, so where we left off, in front of you there are eight wires. And we have to cut the one going to the clock watchdog, the clock, and then the blasting cap trigger, in that order. Since you can't tell me what color wires you see, I'll have to give you a bunch of conditions to look for, which will determine which ones you need to cut. Okay. Okay, so if this was one of their new bombs, you'll see all black wires. Ah, oh, so we gotta memorize too. You either cut the first three or the last three in order of top to bottom in both cases. Unfortunately, if you guess wrong, that's like bad stuff. So I hope you don't have any black wires. If you've colored wires, uh, that's a little bit better. It is. Okay, if there's only one blue wire, cut the second blue wire. Wait. Wait. That doesn't make sense. Hold on. Okay, I think this is a turn -off. If there's only one blue wire, cut that blue wire. If there's only one red wire, cut the red wire. If there's more than one red wire, cut the first yellow wire. If there's two yellow wires left that aren't cut, cut the first green wire. If there's a black wire, cut the second white wire. If there's one purple wire, cut the second red wire. If there's two... We did it! That's strange. Um, I'm just going. Um, hold on. This doesn't, this doesn't really make sense. We cut the watchdog, then, um, oh, well, we must have cut the clock first. So the watchdog switched it to a different clock. My bad. You did the right thing. Okay, so I need you to find the 555 timer for the second clock. It'll be the only 8-pin dual inline package in the bomb, because the other clock is the 556, which is 14 pins. That makes sense. Once you find it, uh, this will be really easy. I'm going to read you pin numbers, but you need to find the marking for pin 1 first. That's pin 1. a little circle next to one of the pins. That'll be pin 1, and then the pins increase in number as you go counterclockwise around the chip. Like that. The chip is running in a stable mode. It's a low-frequency oscillator right now, and unfortunately, we can't just cut the power to the chip because it may act erratically and jump the clock forward a whole bunch before it powers down. Uh, we need to cut the discharge pin, then the internal voltage divider control pin, and then the threshold pin in that order. Three. But, like, oddly, I don't have uh, which pins those are. 
are listed. Um, so I'm just going to tell you the pins I do have listed. So I guess just cut all the other ones that I don't say. Okay, so I'll tell you what not to cut in order around the chip. Okay. The output is two, the trigger is three, the VCC is four, the reset is five, and the ground is eight. So uh, cut the other ones. I was gonna write down the remaining pin numbers for you, but. No, oh, gosh. Okay, there's only one more thing we're concerned about uh, on the schematic. There's a capacitor, C37, that is probably still pulling a charge. Uh, when the clock hits zero, does the cat might have enough charge in it to blow the uh, ignition? The way it's wired, uh, we can't just cut the legs because we undoubtedly cut one very slightly before the other and it might discharge to the blasting cap. So I'm going to have you put a resistor across the legs of the capacitor to slowly bleed off the charge. Uh, we won't know for a few seconds if you got the right one. Uh, if it does, the bomb will be diffused. Um, if it's the wrong capacitor... Um, These are all capacitors. It's a one microfarad capacitor, but uh, they usually scrape off the values to make this harder for people doing what we're doing. Uh, if it was a larger or smaller value, we'd be in a little better luck because we'd be able to narrow it down more easily based off the type of capacitor, but one microfarad is available in pretty much every type of capacitor. Um, we're pulling up some records uh, to see what type of capacitor C37 is. Um, hold on. Um, if it's an electrolytic, they're usually shaped like a little cylinder or can. Uh, if it's a mylar film box capacitor, it's usually shaped uh, well, like a little box, uh, usually gray or green colored. If it's a ceramic, they're often like disc shaped, uh, usually some shade of green or orange. And there's another type we think uh, you might run into, affectionately referred to as a tropical fish capacitor, which, well, <laughs> that's that one. Like. Um, we're having a little trouble narrowing it down still, though. Um, we're obviously, you know, hurrying. Um, you haven't blown yourself up yet, which is, uh, actually a first, uh, for me. So, you're doing great. Oh, um, no. Hold on. Okay, it's, um, a Mylar film box. Um, with relative certainty. So, bleed off the Mylar film box capacitor. Hello? No! <laughs> oh man. Hello? Hello? Hey, Hello? can you still hear me? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? If you can hear me, that's great. I can't hear you anymore. Oh, but I, I can't remember the series. Okay, so don't touch anything Oh, the, yet. they've actually changed. That was just a lucky okay, guess, I suppose. Where we left off, in front of you there are eight wires. And we have to cut the one going to the clock watchdog, the clock, and then the blasting cap trigger, in that order. Since you can't tell me what color wires you see, I'll have to give you a bunch of conditions to look for, which will determine which ones you need to cut. Okay, so if this is one of their new bombs, you'll see all black wires. In that case, you need to either cut the first three or the last three in order of top to bottom in both cases. Unfortunately, if you guess wrong, that's like bad stuff. It's so bad. I hope you don't have any black wires. If you've colored wires, uh, that's a little bit better. Okay, so don't cut any of the black wires and then cut them all. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. Hold on. Okay, I was, I was reading the wrong sheet. Or... Steve, cut it out. Sorry, I have the right sheet. Okay, if there's four green wires, cut the first and third yellow wires. If there's three green wires, cut the second and third yellow wires. If there's two green wires, cut the first and second yellow wires. If there's one green wire, leave all the yellow wires uncut. If there were originally two yellow wires, cut the first red wire. If there were originally three yellow wires, cut the second red wire. If there were originally four yellow wires, cut the first red wire. Come on. I didn't catch it. There's one more to cut. Definitely not the fault of the person who built and planted the bomb here. Why would it be my fault? Because somebody else could be doing this. Oh no. I got lost in there. <laughs> Man, I missed it. Oh, let's try again. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Hey, Hello? can you still hear me? Hello? Is anybody there? Am I Hello? If you can hear me, that's great. Okay. I can't hear you anymore, but I'm gonna keep talking to you because the bomb hasn't gone off and we can still diffuse it. Okay, so don't touch anything yet. I know we can count on you. You're the most qualified person we have, and I'm putting my Oh, I don't want to hear about the black wires on the three up or the three down and cut. And we have to cut the one going to the clock watchdog, the clock, and then the blasting cap trigger in that order. Since you can't tell me what color wires you see, I'll have to give you a bunch of conditions to look for, which will determine which ones you need to cut. Okay, so if this is one of their new bombs, you'll see all black wires. In that case, you need to either cut the first three or the last three in order of top to bottom in both cases. Unfortunately, if you guess wrong, that's like bad stuff. So I hope you don't have any black wires. If you've got colored wires, uh, that's a little bit better. Okay, if there's only one blue wire, cut the second blue wire. Wait, that's that doesn't make sense. Hold on. We know this. Okay, I think this is a turtle. If there's only one blue wire, cut that blue wire. If there's only one red wire, cut the red wire. If there's more than one red wire, cut the first yellow wire. If there's two yellow wires left that aren't cut, cut the first green wire. If there's a black wire, cut the second white wire. If there's one purple wire, cut the second red wire. If there's two purple wires... Alright, alright, we did it. That's strange. Um, the clock is still going. Um, hold on. This doesn't, this doesn't really make sense. We cut the watchdog, then, um, oh, well, we must have cut the clock first. So the watchdog switched it to a different clock. My bad, you did the right thing. Okay, so I need you to find the 5x5 five five timer for the second clock. It'll be the only 8-pin dual inline package in the bomb, because the other clock is the 5x6, five five which is 14 pins. Once you find it, uh, this will be really easy. I'm going to read you pin numbers, but you need to find the marking for pin 1 first. It's That's this guy. It's a circle next to one of the pins. That'll be pin 1, and then the pins increase in number as you go counterclockwise around the chip. The chip is running in a stable mode, it's a low frequency oscillator right now, and unfortunately we can't just cut the power to the chip because it may act erratically and jump the clock forward a whole bunch before it powers down. Uh, we need to cut the discharge pin, then the internal voltage divider control pin, and then the threshold pin, in that order. But like, oddly, I don't have uh, which pins those are listed, um, so I'm just going to tell you the pins I do have listed, so I guess just cut all the other ones that I don't say. All right, so I'll tell you what not to cut in order around the chip. Uh, the BCC is pin 1, the ground is pin 4, the reset is pin 5, the trigger is 6, the output is pin 7. So, uh, cut the other one. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Well, as you can see, it is very hard to concentrate when there's a lot of voices going around. So keep listening and no one explodes is definitely a game for people that can cut out that other voice, um, which I can't seem to do. Let me know if you want me to play this more. I had fun. Uh, this game is available on itch.io and I will have a link, I think, in the description. If not, you can use the... Uh, the website to find it. Thank you everyone for watching. This was Billy on the Gun Jam C channel getting blown up. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.